वेलकम टू आर्यवर्ट सेंटर फॉर थ्योरटिकल फिजिक्स दिस इज अनदर लेक्चर सीरीज क्वांटम मैकेनिकल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दिस इज बेसिकली क्वांटम मैकेनिकल क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स कोर्स एंड इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल द फंडामेंटल डिटेल्स ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स नाउ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स इज द मैकेनिक्स फॉर सब एटोमिक पार्टिकल्स and it is very counter intuitive theory which is radically different from classical mechanics but there is some you can uh, define or we uh, we can relate quantum mechanics and classical mechanics although there is no direct connection between quantum mechanics and classical mechanics but we can relate just like in classical mechanics xt position of if we know the position of any particle at time t which is the function of time position is the function of time uh, and if we solve the equation of motion then we will know the position and velocity of that particle in later time so this is the classical mechanic same way instead of position uh, in classical mechanics in quantum mechanics we use what you call psi xt which is wave function and this wave function contains all the information related of the quantum system so this wave function basically contains the information of quantum system and it is the function of position and function of time and uh, just like in classical mechanics we solve the equation of motion to know the uh, the evolution of classical system same way we solve schrodinger wave equation uh, schrodinger wave equation to know the evolution of any quantum system in time this is equivalent to equation of motion and behavior of particle of mass m be uh, mass m in potential v x if uh, there is a particle a quantum particle of mass m in the potential v x then we can write schrodinger equation t is equal to by 2m uh plus v x t this is the form of schrodinger equation now we can solve this schrodinger equation and know the we can know the evolution of any quantum system and this psi x is wave function and square of this wave function is probability amplitude probability amplitude and one thing more psi xt must be well psi xt must be well defined and continuous continuous and is 
it and also it must be square integrable square integrable and this this is this square of this wave function is the it, uh, it will contain it is uh, it contains the information related to position of the quantum system now property of uh, well defined wave function is it must be single valued we know that there is multiple valued uh, function and uh, but uh, we have to also measure and in measurement we only find a single valued so that's why uh, wave function must be single valued it must be continuous it must be differentiable and also it must be square integrable these are the four properties of well defined wave function and uh, we can check whether the wave function uh, any wave function any given one wave function is well defined or not so let us find whether how we can check whether the wave function is well defined or not now let us take psi x is equal to x or phi x is equal to e to the power minus x square x is defined from 0 to infinity now we have to check whether psi and phi is well defined wave function or not so how we can uh, check we simply plug this into this and we will know whether the function is well defined or not x q divided by 3 0 to infinity it is infinity so it is not square integral so it is not a well defined wave function same way e to the power minus x square square dx 0 to infinity and we will get and we will get root pi by 8 this is the value of this and uh, you can see that it is a valid wave function so this is the valid wave function or well defined wave function this is how we can check whether uh, any wave function is well defined or not